My girl bad like days low, so don't try. Flex and now you on the home, boy. You ain't ready. What's up, gamers? It's your boy Fat Dallas, aka Mr. Tutty Tutty, bringing you some Madden 18 Ultimate Team tips, Madden 18 franchise tips, some tips to dominate and confuse your friend if you're just playing with your friend. But it's a couple things that you have to do in this defense. One of the main things to be able to play defense better is to confuse your opponent and never give him the same look over and over and over. You know a lot of people like to spam play. Some people will play cover three and run cover three all game. That's not going to get you somewhere. The only people that you will be able to beat with that type of mindset is people who don't know what they're doing. Now, if you play anybody with one play touchdowns, anybody with a little bit of scheme, anybody with a little bit of skill, like you see that guy right there hit me with a playmaker up the field, I am showing you how I get dotted up, and then I am showing you how I make adjustments. The key to winning in the video game is how can you make adjustments. Now, me, I like to play Ben don't break defense, but I always start off with my base defense. No matter how much I am getting dotted up, up and down the field, I stick to my four defenses that I like to run. Now you can see right here, he dotted me up the field. We are 7-7. Seven to seven. I am showing you only the defensive side because on offense, it's easy, I think, to put points up. Now on defense, I was getting dotted up. 4th and 17, we've been putting the pressure on them, and I always like to mix the pressure up on people just to see how they act with not too much time in the pocket to make a decision so right here we are dialing up a blitz that's what's good about this game you can move people around in all type of positions you don't have to come out set up a blitz and just run them base you can move people out if the people are hitting you with out routes take a person and don't be afraid to move them out six more steps to the outside and you will see me doing it in the gameplay if i got somebody in the area and it's a lot of open green on that outside i will manually move people around now right here he has been used to me uh running the cover two and then i've been mixing it up with the uh blitz off the left side right here i had a cross man coming up and then right here he had nobody open. I locked down all his routes that he got all the way to the 26-yard line off of. So I went from the left side of the field all the way to the right side of the field because that was my job in this play. I already knew that I had the outside flats on the left side covering. Look at who I'm using. Take a look. I am using the free safety, bringing him down in the box. That right there lets you know I am not in a Tampa 2, but my opponent has to figure that out on his own. This is a second game. He makes the right read right there. I drop my purple down. That's what I like to do. I put in Marshawn Lattimore with 94 speed. I take somebody with a look. look I'm doing it again in another one. It is 7-7. Seven seven. He threw that first touchdown in that area. Now it's up to my user to control everything else. And like I said, put pressure on your opponent. Play conservative after you stop the run successfully two times. If you get two times that you successfully stopped him for a run and I mean successful meaning less than three yards if you can stop him on the play and he's getting less than three yards you can almost guarantee that a pass is getting ready to be dialed up if you run a cover two and he hits you underneath you can guarantee that he is planning on going over the top somewhere because if you run the same play two times He's seen something on one of his past two plays, and that should have been a yakum right there. But they said I held the button down a half a second too long. If you run a play two times, I can guarantee no matter if he throws it underneath or he throws an out route, he's seen another wide receiver somewhere in the play. So that's why it's a key for you to switch your defenses up. I would say every two calls, switch it up to something else. Now right there, I had a successful uh, defense running. And then right there, I switched it up. I went back to the free safety play where I was able to uh, dial the blitz up. And he found the opening at the last second. I had everything boxed up originally, and that's always a good thing. If I got the quarterback running around in circles trying to find room, playmaker, and people, that means that I am running a successful defense. Right there, he is going back to underneath. So it's easier to take the underneath routes instead of giving up the deep balls. I like to play from 15 yards back and up. That's the type of defense and the mindset that I like to have. And I'm about 90% successful rate. So that's the mindset that you should have too. Keep the pressure coming on him. If he's running away out of the pocket like this, you can strip him for a fumble. He holds on to the ball right there. But him running around like a chicken with no head on lets you know that you are in the winning position. All it's going to take now is for a tip, for a fumble, 
for a bad read, and that's an interception. That should have been a straight uh, sec right there, but I got hit with the animation where, you know, the nano detection and all that. So it gave him one more chance. One more chance. We are constantly putting pressure on him. He is making all these hot routes and reads, and now I am in a play where I can drop a lot of people back in coverage. He is even trying to do the glitch. He moved the running back over, but I am in coverage defense. I'm going to have my three-man pressure coming. He is running, trying to get away, and once again, he throws the ball away. You don't have to send a blitz every time. All you have to do is watch the tendencies of your opponent. If he's sending the running back out, you can go cover that by yourself. You don't have to man somebody up and have the computer be responsible for that. Look, freeze the screen. Man up the slot receiver. I'm back to the safety again. I got the cloud over to the right side. He got three wide receivers on the right side. That is locked down his initial read right there. He is scrambling. Look, I send the pressure and I go to where he can only throw it at. If he's running to that side, he can't throw it all the way back to the left side of the field. So those are some key tips for you. Mix your defense up. Send pressure as much as possible. And when you know it's a passing situation, is he been hitting you underneath, taking the two and three yard dump offs, go into coverage. I guarantee that'll help you win.